I'm here with my friend Arad and we're headed to Makoto Sushi in El Paso. So how do you feel about raw fish? Honestly man, I love sushi and uh, I have high expectations about this place. I do. We're gonna be looking for the taste, the quality and the serving. We'll see you guys there. Uh, my name is Danny Song. I have been uh, making sushi for almost 14, going a little over 14 years. I'm Korean by blood, I, uh, but I was raised in Argentina for 15 years. Came to the USA in the, at the age of 16. I, I, I really like what I do, I really enjoy what I do. Uh, you can tell whenever I make the food, you know, when you taste it. You know, watching people smile when they eat the food is like my greatest joy, you know. Making food for people is very personal. You know, people choose to come here and spend their money to eat my food. It's very personal. Like, it's not just a job. Like, making food for people can never be so simple as a job. We are looking for customers that are gonna appreciate what we do and the love and the care and the time that we spend here to make everything fresh. Nothing is pre-made here, you know? And it takes a little more time, so if you appreciate food, then you won't mind waiting a little bit longer than what you will usually wait. The first dish we had was the the wall, the wall yeah, created by Danny, the head chef, the main chef. What did you think of it? Man, it was amazing. I mean, you can like, take the spicy, the shrimp. I mean, it was pretty good to be honest. I liked it, I loved it. So, that was the first dish we had, and it was truly unexpected. He explained, before he served this, he explained that uh, he was trying to make kind of like a um, Hispanic take with an Asian combination, yeah. combine the food. You know what the beauty is? The beauty of it all, the way it makes me feel, when people eat it, smile. That's my job. Yeah. The second one we had was the tacos. It is really like an explosion in your mouth. Yes. And then it, I and couldn't it, even it, taste it the raw fish. It doesn't taste fishy. It tastes, but you taste the fish. When it, like, it, fish. it doesn't taste fishy. I don't even want to finish it off. Oh, yeah. No worries, it won't come. It was really soft. It was extremely soft. The fish. Man, I'm just... I don't, I don't know, know how he did it. All right. <laughs> third one, third dish. We had the... The one with the crab, right? Yeah. It had a, like a, a bunch of crab in the middle, and and I, I can taste it again. <laughs> so, back that it. one, it just, it was just so many ingredients combined so very well, but at the same time, when you take that first roll, that first bite, like in all the, the ingredients, it just an explosion in your mouth. And then the the fourth one, the fourth one was the the, sca the scallop. Oh, it was yeah. just the, the one scallop. And this one I found really interesting because I had scallop before, but it wasn't this good. It, it was kind of chewy, kind of hard. And I tried it before, and this one, the way he prepared it with the torch, yeah. just like the the crusty outside, and then the and the, 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 the raw, the, the, the raw it was raw inside, but it, it, he told us that it's gonna melt in your mouth and it and literally did, it literally did. It was super good. Was...
soft. Yeah, it's like messing your mouth, right? Wow. I mean, speechless, completely. Oh my god. <laughs> How? <laughs> well, now you can see why they call me the genius. Oh my god. <laughs> Once you put it in your mouth, it melted and then it like hugged your tongue and it, it was so simple like yeah, just man. a scallop but I don't, he like did it extremely well and then he said that it's not about using fancy ingredients it's about knowing what to do with them yeah so the fifth dish this is the one the the raw fish he created this one as well we asked for the name he he just said he invented it it just came up with his imagination and he's a genius this one was not fishy at all. I think it was like that like kind of tuna, but uh, it didn't have the taste of fish. Not the taste of fish you're used to. And he takes a lot of pride in his ingredients of having everything fresh. And you could, this definitely showed because it's so simple, just like the scallop. It, it shows the, the quality of it. And it was amazing. Best fish I've ever yeah, had, yeah. honestly. It wasn't hot, it wasn't cold, it was perfect. And then the last one, Man, yeah. it, it was a roller coaster all throughout, all in, in all the meals, but this one. And man, that was amazing. It's like this filling in your mouth, I mean, I can't even explain it. Like, some good taste right there. It, it was, you had to try it, to like, to like experience like something else. Like, it is, it is, and man. Sour, it wasn't bitter, it was all the kind of sweet. It, it was sweet. How? It's like one of the best men. And then, oh my god, and then how you told us to eat it from the top first? Like, there's the whole process of eating it, the, the ingredients. Oh man. Well, what was even in this? Like, what was it? The scallops? Man. Honestly, yeah. the best. The best, the best. The best. Yeah. Man, this place, the the passion he puts on his food, from the ingredients to the presentation to how it tastes to the way you eat it, it's just it can't get any better. You guys have to try it. And I'm, I know we're rating the places on one through five, but this one just exceeds the scale. This goes well beyond it. I'll give it a ten out of five. Ten out of five. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Cactus.